I come into my patient's room and I see that my patient's stomach is distended, is distended, so I assume that there is some blockage going on. I'm going to remove my tubing from the suction and I am going to take and put 5 to 10 cc's of air into my tubing and I'm going to listen to the fundus of the stomach as I do this for a swish sound. I don't hear anything so I'm also going to try to aspirate some fluid from my patient's stomach and nothing is coming back so I assume there is a blockage going on. I would then go and get a clean syringe and get 30 cc's of water. Plain tap water is fine. I would come disconnect my tubing. I would hold on to my tubing and my syringe and I would pump back and forth trying to get that blockage to move. Once that blockage moves, my water should just go swish right through the tubing. I would then hook my tubing back up to the suction and because I did that once again, the tubing will suck up or attach to the stomach lining so I will need to take a clean syringe and do another 5 to 10 cc's of air into the blue line and that will remove the tubing from the stomach line. And this is what you would do in case of a blockage.